Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. The end is finally here, y'all. I can't believe it's already the final video for the best skincare of 2022 because wow, damn, that went by fast. The videos, the year, like shit, we're getting old. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best, most amazing, top performing sunscreens of 2022, but I'm not just gonna be sharing my top favorites. If you guys haven't watched the other videos, you know that this year I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm switching it up. I'm gonna include your guys' top picks from this year as well. I did my research, tested the data, if you will, and I found which products you guys, yes, my audience, have been purchasing the most, and I'm gonna be including the top picks in this video as well. If you haven't watched the other videos of my 2022 series, I highly recommend that you do. I did cleansing balms, cleansers, moisturizers, serums, <laughs> forgot about that last one. And in preparation for all these videos, what I've done is since the beginning of 2022, all the way until this time, I was vigorously, no, rigorously, yes, rigorously testing out as many products as I could in order to find the best ones to recommend to you guys. And I'm so excited to talk about sunscreens because as I have shared, incessantly on my channel. Sunscreen is the most important step in your skincare routine. Like it or not, buddy, that's the reality. And I personally tend to be the most picky when it comes to finding good sunscreens because sunscreen can a lot of times just feel like the worst part of the skincare routine, the chore, if you will. It's not always fun. And let me tell you, in preparation for this video, I tested out many, 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 many bad sunscreens. At this point, I can't even count how much money I've spent on sunscreens that I inevitably only used once or twice because I was like, ooh, formulas are not it. But I am so stoked to share all these sunscreens with you guys because, oh my God, I can't even describe how amazing they are. And there's some new ones that I'm gonna be talking about that I haven't talked about in previous videos that I've made about sunscreens. So before we jump into it, I want to say that all the products that I'm talking about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you do want to support me and my channel, I make a small commission from those links. And if you are interested in buying any of them, I would really appreciate if you use those links because of the work I have to put into these videos, but no pressure whatsoever, not guilt tripping at all. Totally up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. And yeah, let's get into this final video. So I'm gonna be arranging all of these sunscreens from like my least favorite of my favorite to my favorite of my favorite, starting with, I believe one of the most affordable and accessible sunscreens, the Sunbum Mineral Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30. Now this one I include because I found myself going back to using it pretty frequently. I've talked in other videos about the tinted one, but I know that the tinted formula doesn't necessarily work for every skin tone out there. So I wanted to try other drugstore sunscreen formulas to see what else could work. And this definitely came to the top of the list. This sunscreen was also one of your guys' top picks from this year in the data that I was able to see. You guys really like this shit. Is this by any means like one of the best, a formula that blows me away? No, it doesn't, but I wanted to include this one because for most of these other sunscreens, you do have to purchase them online at specific beauty retailers or they come from Korea. And I know that a lot of people just want to be able to find a drugstore sunscreen that they can purchase easily. And some of them formulas are really good. And I'd say this is a great one. One of the reasons I like it is that it's only formulated with zinc oxide, which makes it a really optimal choice for anyone who has extra sensitive skin. It's fragrance free, it's vegan. With this one, I do want to say that you do have to spend a good amount of time rubbing it into your skin for it to fully absorb and to minimize any potential white cast that may be there. And because it is a mineral sunscreen, that does mean that it won't be accessible to every single skin type. For people who have darker skin tones, for example, I would point you to the video that I made specifically talking about sunscreens for darker skin tones. So I'll have it linked in the description box below if you do want to check that out. Like I said before, is this one one of the best in this list of products? No, it's not, but it's a good price point. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Very accessible. And if you're looking for just a good basic drugstore formula, I would point you to this one. Next one is one I've talked about in videos past. It just keeps coming up on the top sunscreens of the years because it's such an innovative formula. It is the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Cream SPF 50. One of the reasons I love this one is because it's very hard to make a mineral formula SPF 50 without it just being a shit show of an experience to use. Like trust, I have tried so many mineral SPF 50 formulas and most of the time, I just wash my face immediately after applying it because it's so bad. But this one is so nice because not only does it absorb into the skin really well without leaving a heavy white cast, it has a formula that creates a blurring type finish on the skin, which is really nice for anyone who has oily skin or doesn't want their sunscreen to look really greasy on their skin. It's fragrance free, does an amazing job of protecting the skin. And I find myself coming back to this one over and over and over throughout the years because it really just is that good. The next sunscreen is one that I'll be 100% honest, it was my number one sunscreen of last year. And coming into this year, I was 
was like, Hiram, there's other sunscreens out there. You need to try other kinds. I just love this formula so much, but it does come with a caveat because it's not necessarily for everyone, which is why it's lower on the list. The Bliss Blockstar SPF 30. I know if you've watched a lot of my videos, you're already rolling your eyes because I talk about the sunscreen so much, but it's so freaking good. I love this one first and foremost because it does an amazing job of reducing any shine, greasiness, or oiliness on the face, which is really nice for anyone who struggles with oilier skin like me and wants to control that oiliness because it's so frustrating having an entire skincare routine dedicated to oily skin only to have a sunscreen come in and f*** it all up. Ugh, it's the worst. The finish of this one on the skin is unreal, but the reason I say it's not for everyone is because it is a tinted sunscreen formula, which means that only a certain amount of people will either enjoy using it or it only works for a certain amount of skin tones. So not for everyone. I actually recommend getting a mini size of this one so you can test it out and see how it works on your skin. But if it does work for your skin tone, oh my gosh, I highly recommend this one. I constantly use it and I really had to like break myself away from using it throughout the course of this year because that's how much I loved it. And I'll be honest, I am a Taurus through and through. When I find something that works, I'm like, that is my shit for life. But yeah, had to include it on this list. I do like it as well because it is drugstore. You can find it at Target, but it is a little bit more expensive than the Sun Bum one. But love, love, love this one. And next we have the top four sunscreens, which honestly, all of them are so incredibly amazing that it's kind of difficult to choose which one is best. But we're getting into the part of the video where you definitely should be paying attention. These are the powerhouse sunscreens. First up is one that I've seen go viral many times on TikTok. There's a reason it has a cult following. The Essentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel SPF 50. This is a Korean sunscreen that when I first used it, I was like, holy shit. Shit. Why have you been all uh, 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 uh. It's so good. This is the one that I love bringing to the beach to me to reapply my sunscreen. Beach to me. <laughs> to the beach with me to reapply on my face because I can always trust that it's not going to make my skin look greasy or white. I'm not going to have to take a lot of time applying it into my face. I know it's going to work for all my friends regardless of their skin tone. Like it is such a good formula and it's so hard to get a really good SPF 50 formula, but this one does it. It's a really good option. Will I say that it's my personal favorite to use out of all of them? No primarily because I do prefer a sunscreen that's a little bit more lightweight on the skin. That doesn't leave your skin quite as hydrated as this one does, but if you're someone who has combination to dry skin, or you're on a hike or at the beach and you don't really care if your skin looks a little extra greasy, I highly recommend testing this one out because wow, it is so incredible. Really nice formula. They really outdid themselves with this. Next up is one that I talked about in my last summer sunscreens video. It is so freaking incredible. I think it was my top one or top two. She was a top for sure. The Cynic Enjoy Super Mild Sun Essence SPF 50. Wow. It is so nice that a lightweight, fast absorbing gel consistency sunscreen in an SPF 50 format exists. It, it literally blows my mind how good this formula is. And if you're someone who has oily skin, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking this one out because it's an absolutely incredible formula. It is a Korean sunscreen and I do believe it has to be shipped from Korea, but I think it's on Amazon. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'll have it linked down below if you want to check it out, but I have no words. It really is an absolutely incredible formula that I'm recommending to so many people in my life. And this is kind of like my go-to of a sunscreen that I always want to have with me where at any moment if someone's like oh my god I forgot my sunscreen I can be the hero and be like here you go baby from mama take it like I have to show you guys what it looks like it is so lightweight a literal gel on the skin and just how? Literally how? I want to have a conversation with the people who formulated this product and just be like, um, what witchcraft did you utilize in order to make this a reality? Because I want that shit. Pronto. It's a really good formula. I found myself constantly using this, particularly when my skin is a little bit more sensitized and irritated and I need to take a break from using, say, like a tinted formula like this one. I will go back to this one and yeah, it's, it's one of my all-time favorites. I highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't even say which ones are your guys' topics. Holy shit. Should I refilm the video? I don't have time for that shit. I'm so sorry, y'all. This was one of your guys' top picks. One of the products that you guys purchased more than any other sunscreens, and I totally understand why. I condone it. Good job. And I respect you for it. I also forgot to mention that the Isentree sunscreen as well was one of your guys' top picks. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I missed that in the middle of filming. I guess I was just so excited to talk about all the other products that I got ahead of myself. Oops. The next one I have never talked about in any of my videos, and I'm so freaking stoked because not only is this one of the best sunscreens I have ever used, but this is also one of your guys' top picks picks that you purchased throughout the course of this year. It is my most recent discovery, like so recent in fact, that I wasn't even trying it when I filmed my last sunscreen video, but wow, this has taken me by complete shock and I carry it with me every time I travel anywhere. It is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 sunscreen. You guys, Ooh, wow. This is freaking amazing. And let me tell you why, it literally feels exactly like a moisturizer. Like if you were to give me just a standard cream moisturizer and put this right next to it, I would honestly think 
they're the same thing. There's no white cast whatsoever. It blends so nicely into the skin. Well, not even blends because there's no white cast. I just mean it easily absorbed by the skin and does such a good job of really making sure that your moisture barrier is hydrated and nourished without feeling greasy on the skin at all. I brought this with me on my recent trip to the Philippines and Indonesia. I was traveling with my really good friend Leo and I had him use this as well. He used it throughout the entire trip. I ended up giving him the bottle and since the trip he's been like, Hiram, can you like send me some? <laughs> because it's literally the best sunscreen he's ever used and I have to agree with him. It is such an incredible formula. So nice to apply and I have to commend this formula because even though it does feel like a light cream moisturizer, this was able to withstand the insane humidity that was in the Philippines and Indonesia when I was traveling there. Like, oh my god, it was, it was humid AF. I felt like I was constantly sweating out everything, but I brought this with me everywhere, reapplied it multiple times throughout the day, never noticed any issue, never noticed that my skin was super greasy or sweaty. It really is amazing. Such a good price point as well. Amazing Korean innovation at play as always. If you aren't familiar with the brand, I've talked about their Tea Tree Relief Serum. It's one of the best serums I've ever used for oily skin. It's just awesome. I think this formula is incredible and definitely if you are on, well, really any skin type, but I feel like particularly if you do have more combination to dry skin, then you will absolutely love this one. Wow, it is incredible. And then finally, the last sunscreen, actually the one that I listed as my number one favorite in my last sunscreens video. And this was actually one a bunch of you guys recommended to me in the comment sections of my videos. I kept seeing this one pop up and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. <sighs> Products like this make me remember why I love skincare so much because it's so good. It just hits the mark for everything. Price point, accessibility, good formula, no white cast. Encre bleu. It is the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield SPF 30 sunscreen. This one you can find at Ulta Beauty. I believe you can also find it at Target as well. Such a good price point, but the formula is incredible. It has this like green tint to it that helps to offset any additional redness within the skin. It's so lightweight, doesn't feel greasy or heavy at all. Absorbs into the skin so lightly. I've never noticed any white cast whatsoever. It's so easy to find. Like Hero Cosmetics, you did such a good job with this formula. Props to you. It's rare that I find a sunscreen that you can find like say at the drugstore while also not being too crazy of a price point and having a really good formula. And I've always struggled when it comes to drugstore sunscreens because I'll just be honest, the majority of them are really bad, but this one blows all of them out of the park. Honestly, it's really hard for me to decide between these three, which one is the best because I do love these formulas technically more than I like this one, I would say, but these ones can be more difficult to find. And just across the board, I think for it being a US-based sunscreen, mineral sunscreen and hitting every positive mark, like it's just an incredible formula that I highly, highly recommend you check out. And I think it's good for any skin type as well. Whether you're oily combination dry it's a stellar product and guys that concludes the best sunscreens of 2022 as well as the series seriously thank you guys so much for watching like i said before all the products are listed in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing any of these i really appreciate you taking the time to learn about these because i do put a lot of work into these videos over the course of the year and more than anything it really means a lot to me that you guys trust my recommendations and advice i will always feel that responsibility very intensely and it just means a lot that you guys are willing to watch and support and maybe take up my recommendations as well. But I'd love to hear what your top picks have been. Did you find any sunscreens this year that you were absolutely blown away by and you think I should test out? If there are, please comment them down below because I'm always looking for new sunscreens and you better bet your ass that come January 1st, 2023, I'm already going to be thinking, testing, and planning out what sunscreens I'm going to be talking about for next year's video. Like I said before, if you haven't checked out any of the other best of 2022 videos, I highly recommend that you do because I want you to have the best skincare routine possible so you don't have to spend a lot of time or money testing out a bunch of random products. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. What does your skincare routine look like? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me this. <laughs> I don't do anything. For me, my skincare routine looks like getting in the ocean because I think the ocean is important for your health um, and wealth and, and well-being. Feeling the sea breeze, I think being in fresh mountain air. I, you know, I've got surfer girl skin for sure because of years in the sun climbing Mount Everest. <laughs>